Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 54 of Active Reload. We were audio only last week because there was a lot of stuff going on, but here we are again in video. You can see the glistenings of sweat dripping off of our active body right now because it's it hot. is so hot in here. It's hot. But we're here. We're here and we're doing the, uh, the episode. Uh, we're going to talk about... Basically, our most anticipated games for the second half of 2024. Or the biggest games to be biggest, released. You know, Not my most anticipated. Kind of, well, maybe tied hand in hand for okay. most anticipated. Gotcha. Both. Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit, and then we'll get into um, some TBA games that are still expected. Skate, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. They don't have dates yet, so we'll talk about that a little bit. Yeah. And then uh, we have a little special surprise for you towards the end. Once we get into, uh, once we get into the games we're playing yeah. and the games we're releasing this week, but mainly the games we're playing. Got Sweet. a little... Review in progress for you, and that was we made a scene out of. It's awesome. Welcome to the Act of Reload. What's up? All right. Okay. Um, let's start the show. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, episode 54. We're going to start things off. Uh, Grant has some eviscerating remarks he's going to make about Concord. All it's right. a disaster. All right. Starting off Sorry. the show. Uh, maybe we should just do the biggest games to be. Uh, that you know we to, well, no, let's talk about Concord. Okay, because that was, that happened this weekend. You played yeah, the you're beta. right. So I got hands on of the beta, and um, you know what? I'm off the top. Not a bad game. Okay, it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> you said that with very strong confidence. Um, I the expectations. What, what were your expectations? Um. It was going to be another game in the 5v5 hero landscape that was just going to be thrown into the pile. Exactly correct. That is what it is? That's exactly what it is. All right, cool. Thrown in the pile, but it's, it's there's still a lot of fun to be had. Right. Right? I, yeah. Now, $40 purchase. That's a lot. For this type of game. You know what? Uh, it is PC as well mm -hmm. as console mm -hmm. playing together. $40 to me seems like it's going to have less cheaters. Okay. So that's what your expectation is with the price tag. If it was free to play, my expectation right. is cheating galore with no support to get rid right. of them. Now, $40, if you get banned, you're going to have to spend another $40. So, or pirate it. It's a lot harder to cheat now. Yeah. The $40 price tag. Is Valorant free to play? Or yeah. Uh, but, it, but, so, but that works, but they also... Um, we they, have, they also have antivirus on the kernel of your computer, yeah, too. Yeah, so we've talked about that. Yeah. But. And um, so, gameplay-wise, very much like Destiny 2. Way mm -hmm. more Destiny 2 than Overwatch. Okay. Gameplay-wise. Okay. Um, character. I you was... <laughs> Character-wise, exactly like Overwatch. Right, okay. So I was mostly... I can't remember any of their names, first of all. I was mostly the girl who was... Um, Who's the skip around girl in Overwatch? Tracer. Tracer. I was mostly the Tracer character but with a little game, SMG. In this game, she's called Speedster. I don't, yeah, I'm probably. I don't remember. I don't know. The characters are designed pretty well. Okay. A lot of influence from Guardians of the Galaxy, right, right. Overwatch. As expected. The uh, movement, very much like Destiny, mm -hmm. just slower. Okay. So imagine Destiny 2 jumping, you know, aiming while looking down. Right. Popping out of cover, like, while jumping. Kind okay. of Halo S. These this game was made by former Halo uh Oh, so you can or no, feel former it. Destiny players. Okay. Or well that de makes devs, sense. Which are probably former right. Halo devs. Halo devs too. So it feels like that. It's just the the um, meta feels like an Overwatch meta. Right. It's a hero shooter. From what you're from what I understand, what you're saying to me, it doesn't feel like they were the most original. When it came to no, creating this. Not at all. It kind of makes me a little sad that Sony put this through mm -hmm. and not Last of Us Factions. Yeah. Which I think is a completely original shooter in the multiplayer at realm. At the very least, Factions... Sorry. Jeez. At the very least, Factions, from what I understand and what I've read about what it was going to be, is it felt more like it was going to be some version of an extraction shooter, Jeez. if that makes sense. Was that your tummy rumbling? That was a truck that was going by. <laughs> I don't know why you called it out. We don't know if it was picked up on the mic. Uh, it, it will. I, I promise you. Um, but factions felt like it was more like in the style of extraction shooter. Yeah. You don't. You're not extracting, but well, it's the idea. Did it's you never apocalyptic and definitely? Did you never play? Um, I never the, played the first in the first game. Uh, Last of Us one. Yeah, I played the game. It's really good. So you do have to extract. Well, you don't have to extract, but yeah. you do have to. 
loot right in the middle of a round or yeah. a match. But to, you don't extract with the items. No, you right. don't. Okay. But there is like a kind of a end game right meta thing going on where you have people that are in your faction some die and some mm. you get bigger i don't know it's something weird I'm, i imagine the sequel would have been a lot more cooler and expanded upon yeah but more they, in depth it sounded like they didn't have a way to monetize it the best way possible yeah so it, they cut it off now in comes concord where I don't know how they're going to monetize well, They're going to monetize it like Overwatch, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they're going to sell scans. <laughs> but with a $40 price tag. Right. Overwatch is free to play, too. Yeah. So, $40 price tag is um, hard to jump in. But I think that if someone is to play this, they're going to have fun. If you've never played Overwatch, okay, if you're an avid Overwatch player, mm -hmm. there's no reason for you to play this game. Right. Yeah. Why would you switch? But if you are a Sony guy who doesn't. Or Destiny player. Or Destiny player. Yeah. I mean, I like to play Destiny multiplayer. Yeah. That wants Just to get into like a hero shooter. Right up your alley. It's It works. Remember, I think I said to you off camera that the open or the closed beta mm -hmm. looked like there was some lag issues right. and stuff like that. Connectivity I didn't stuff. get any of that. Oh, well, that's good. On Saturday. So well, That's good. Graphics are that's great. That's a positive takeaway. Pr presentation is great. Mm -hmm. It's just a... Um, um, Another, uninspired, right? Okay. Looking, feeling type of and game thrown on the pile of the thrown, many that exactly. have come before it. That's all I'm gonna say. I think it's still a good game. Yeah. What would you do? Yeah, if, I mean, do you, you don't like these type of games, do you? I I've had my fill of them. Okay, is what I'll say. I've never like Overwatch. I, that was my my go-to hero shooter but it grew old relatively, especially once Overwatch Two came out, and then they announced that they were getting they. The big sell for me for Overwatch 2 was that they were going to have um, like a story type missions to kind of give you yeah. more lore on the characters. And well, then they scrapped all that. Concord has a lot of lore. Yeah. And apparently there's going to be updates with even more lore. So mm -hmm. think of uh, Rainbow Six Siege oh, when okay. they do, or even Apex, yeah. where they do the seasonal updates. Yeah. Apparently, not positive, but apparently they're going to do that same mm -hmm. thing, but more often. Okay. And they, the cutscenes look great. They yeah, look fantastic. And, and that's, yeah, that's what uh, Siege, that's what Overwatch did when they had hero lore that they wanted to tell. They'd do a, a either cutscenes yeah. or entire um, short films, essentially. And, and like, you know, animated Yeah, they're shorts. gorgeous. Um, they're pretty good. So, yeah, that was, the, the thing is for Overwatch, and the thing, apart from the, the you know, offline, the PvE stuff that they got rid of, yeah. um, they also they also charged you at the beginning for Overwatch 2. I think it was... 30 bucks if you bought Overwatch 1 or something like that? No, no, no. Overwatch 1 was initially money. It was 60 bucks. And then when 1 2 came, oh, they did right. free to play, yeah. I believe. Uh, well, I think it was free if you had Overwatch 1. Yeah, if you I bought. Think. Yeah, it was. Okay. So I think. I, I bought Overwatch 1 and I yeah. did get Overwatch 2 the update. Because it was just an update. Free. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't if know you were going to buy Overwatch 2, it was a okay. price. And you okay. didn't play Overwatch 1. Um, might, he might be wrong on that. Yeah, you know, that's what we do around here. Am I we're, sweating we're pretty bad? We're suffering from heat exhaustion <laughs> in here, okay? Our minds are racing in, in a different direction. Um, yeah, that's, so it's cool. Another thing I should mention is that the game modes are basically domination, mm -hmm. a uh, 5v5, which is always 5v5, but a round base mode, yeah. and then a team deathmatch mode, I think, or okay. maybe a territories or a team... I only played the domination one. I did see so. something that was worrying, um, and then that w I think it was towards the end of the day on Sunday, which would, would have been the last day of the actual beta. Mm -hmm. um, they were talking. Somebody was talking. Uh, somebody was streaming, and I can't remember what it was exactly. Um, but they were talking about, and they were either playing Concord or recapping Concord or something like that. And they were talking about how one of the game modes had so few players that you weren't able to match make in it. Yeah. During the actual beta. Yeah. Um. I couldn't tell if that was a population thing or right. if it was a server thing, but during these open betas, mm -hmm. they like to stress test the yeah. servers. Yeah. So they there could have been four thousand people playing, but they made it seem like there was ninety thousand. Right. So uh, who knows if that's what yeah. they were doing? If that, but if it is a population problem, then yeah, I did notice that the steam charts, the steam charts were pretty low. Yeah, but this doesn't seem like a PC centric game. I mean, it's a More Sony. Console, it's a Sony think? game for sure. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But, but yeah, I imagine I mean, some of the snipers with a mouse and keyboard versus controllers, and 
I didn't really test out the aim assist. I didn't play it on PC. I just played it on PS5. Mm-hmm. So, seemed, it seemed like you know, a, a pretty good game. That's it. I will say that something, it, it may not be PC-centric, yeah. but something like Helldivers was something that opened fantastically oh, yeah. to the PC um, yeah. player base. And it worked out well for the PlayStation player base as well. It's draining a little bit. There was a DLC announcement trailer that came out this week. Yeah. Um, and we'll see how many people that ends up bringing back in. But when they launched, it worked out for both. And I think if you're open beta, if it is a population problem, we don't know. It's hard to tell. But if it is a population problem and you're struggling to get enough people to play in uh, one of your three game modes, not yeah, you great. Have a problem. It's going to be hard to sell people... To you know, open beta is free, you, will, and then you're asking people to pay. $40. I will say, I will say this: I'm fifty fifty on the length of this game. Mm-hmm. It's possible they can go longer, but like maybe a year. If I had was a betting man, I yeah. I would bet one year this game will be either free to play or shut down. Okay, but in the meantime, there's a lot of fun to be had. I'm just saying, yeah. there is it's not a bad game. It's, it's funny, made well. It's funny now just that the copied. <laughs> the bailout for a lot of these games that come out like this is just go for straight free to play. That was an old way of doing it. I, I don't know if that will save you these days. No, no, I don't think so either. But yeah. it, but it is still the cop out, or yeah. not cop out's the wrong word. It's but Plan B. The last, yeah, the the last ditch effort to bring more people mm-hmm. into it because yeah. it's free. You can just download it. Yeah, um, and I imagine when they do that, here comes the hackers. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I I, don't, I think there's always going to be a situation. Um, I mean, the good thing is, if a game is small like that, it usually doesn't bring in a lot of hackers. <laughs> yeah. So. Maybe or, that'll or be they positive. stand out more than anything. Or they stand out, yeah. So, yeah. you know what? Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. We don't know until right. it comes out, which is why it's on our list for biggest games to be released this year. I don't you know probably, if it's My arm probably went list. through the wall, the invisible wall here. I don't know if it's actually true or not. What? If it's on the list. Is Concord on yes, that list? Yes, it is. Of course. Seeing it is. The, I didn't even have to look at yeah. it and I knew what was All right. going on. So I have the biggest games coming out for the second half of the year. Yes, sir. These ones... 10 of them with one OLI. One OLI? Are, on a top 10 list? It's not a top 10. Well. It's out of order. On a notable it, 10 There's list? just 10 of them. Um, and that was happenstance. Really, I just stopped at 10. Yeah. All right. And these are confirmed dates. And I'll tell you the dates when they come out. All right. So L- OLI, Madden 25, August 16th. I know he's shaking his head. I saw some previews today with uh, better tackling and physics-based gameplay. They got him, ladies and gentlemen. Might have got me. They got him. I'll do. I'll do the EA ten hour trial and then get back. That's to That's what you. everybody honestly should do for everything. Yeah. I'll That's get back EA. to you. Um, there's no way it's gonna suck. I'm not gonna. I'm what? already bought NCAA or college football. College football. Yeah. I'm gonna say that all the time. So yeah. I got my football game. All right. Um, number one or just one. Black Myth Wukon. August 20th, yeah. August 20th on PC and wow, that's PS5. A month away. Okay. Oh, not on Xbox. Did you know? Yeah, it's a PlayStation exclusive. It was their state of play. That was like their big thing. All right. So I'm really excited about this. I am the too. more Looks gorgeous. I look at it, the more I like it, but the more I hear about it, the more I get concerned. Right. Especially with the difficulty and bugs. And this game comes out in less than a month. Less than a month. So uh, See, I'm excited for that one too. It looks, too. It looks gorgeous. From the gameplay looks, stuff that we've it seen. It looks really good. It looks really cool. So Concord. Play that. Talked about it. That comes yeah. out 23rd of August. Uh, Dead on Arrival? Not quite, but... It's interesting that they put Wukong also three days away from from that game. Also a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, not but, exclusive. But it's but, not a shooter. Yeah, but... They're not going to eat each other. I think they might. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Who remember knows? when... Um, Black Myth Wukong is a Dark Souls inspired game. Just remember. Oh, yeah. It's not for everybody. And it's well, supposed yeah, to be true. hard. But, but I would say I have great. more hope for that game going into that than Concord. Oh, and by the way, do you like my shirt? Yeah. Is that in the frame? Check that out. It's probably, hopefully shout it's in the out, frame. Shout out my wife, Melody. Really awkward. Um, uh, number four, three, slash three, whatever. Three. I'm hot. Terrific. Star Wars Outlaws. IGN is doing a lot of IGN first, their little thing. Yeah. IGN first, they're showing a lot mm-hmm. of gameplay. I watched 15 minutes yeah. of a Tatooine gameplay, looking for a tooth of a Sarlacc monster yeah star like pit monster you go ahead on what you thought so i hate on star wars a lot uh I this think is coming out august 30th by the way i think it's overrated the entire franchise is a little overrated uh it was very important back in the 70s when it first came out obviously 80s yeah. 80s 70s 80s whatever uh, but since then they've 
they missed a lot. I mean, they've missed a lot. Uh, swinging a miss on a lot of stuff. Yeah. But some of the best things that they have created have been video, video games. Video games, yeah. Have been video games. For sure. Uh, the Jedi games, I know you don't love them. Nope. Jedi Survivor, Jedi Fallen, or- Fallen Order, I like a lot. Um, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? Maybe they can nail Star Wars Outlaws as well. The first gameplay that they showed that was part of the Xbox game showcase yeah, or something like that. Yeah, did they like Ubisoft it up? I, I thought it looked better than oh, what they showed. Oh, it definitely looked yeah. better. Because um, the one that was shown as part of the IGN first was rough. Uh, it was not great. It looked very boring. Um, yes. It had kind of the Star Wars flair to it where there's not, and this is something I, I hate about Star Wars, there's no viscera. There's no gore. There's no blood. Oh, yeah. It's just you get hit with a laser, you're dead. Which, you know, they always try to explain it by the lightsaber or the laser. It would cauterize the wound. Great, dude. Yeah. I, let me see somebody's leg fall off, okay? That's what I want. Well, from the Star original Wars. Star Wars, the arm was on the ground with blood. But we don't do it anymore. We can't. We can't it's Disney. No, I get it. I understand that. It's the bar. But still. No, whatever. It, we're in the middle of a war here, all right? I will say that um, nothing feels impactful in thought, this game from what I've seen. I thought the chick, whatever her name is, it's um, it's a she it's looked a, great. It's a stupid Star Wars name. It's it's probably it's Jade Visera or, or Jade, <laughs> there you go. Jade that Versa great. or whatever something like that. Jane Versa. Yeah, Jane. It might be like Jane Verso. Yeah. I'm. I feel like I'm pretty close. Verso is in a. In, it's like a Rogue One. Anyways, oh, no. Battlefront 2, Aiden Vers- Verso, isn't okay. that right? Or what? the back I have character. no idea. I don't care. Who cares? Outlaws. What did it, you think? It, I thought it looked mediocre. I thought it looked more yeah. mediocre than Concord, tell you that much. Uh, Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. Two different games, though. I, um, I did like the fact that she gets into her ship and then goes into outer space. No cutscene. Seamlessly. Or, uh, they stopped at the end. Right, yeah. But yeah. a good cutscene. Looks good. It's better not, than it's, it's. I hope it's not as open world as I think it is. It's, I I think it is. I think that's going to be the most disappointing part because they right. haven't shown any of that. I don't want to play another open world Ubisoft game. I don't care who's in it. It's here. All right. Jade that comes out August 30th, whatever. by the way. Number four, Stalker 2, Big Boy. So, yeah. This Actually is has a date, 5th of September. Right around the corner. I want to play this game even if I'm not going to finish the other Stalker games. And it's only Xbox and PC. Yeah, Xbox um, exclusive. Wow. There's a lot of exclusives this year. Yeah, so everybody's eating pretty well. I'm excited for soccer too. I played most of the first one. Yeah. Um, Did you get the whole trilogy or just? The I first got one? the whole trilogy. Wow. I, I'm probably at some point gonna go and play. Want to play? Are they bad? Really? No, you're just never going to. Yeah, probably not. But I might go back and play those ones. I liked the first one. It was pretty fun. I could obviously see the importance of what it was at the time. Um, in terms of gameplay mechanics and whatnot, and the second, there was just a lot of. What do you call it? Euro... Um, jank. Jank. There's a lot of Euro jank in those games. Yeah, I'm expecting some Euro jank yeah. in Stalker 2. But I'm, I'm hoping it's a little more curved. You know, a little bit more... A little bit more... Yeah, because it's the not as, accept, as acceptable yeah. as it was back in the early right. 2000s. But. I'm, I'm hoping it's a little bit more tuned for the times, and I'm yeah. going to play it, and I'm hopefully going to have fun. Another exclusive, number six, PS5 exclusive, mm-hmm. Astrobot. Only PS5, not PC. Isn't that the... Yeah, remember that little tech demo that at the came beginning? Out? Okay, yeah. that you get with your PS5. It's a yeah. free game or whatever, which was really cool. Is this one free? I don't. No think No way so. you're making me pay for a sequel to Astro. Bob. Oh, it looks great. There's, I, I'm okay with that. It could be great, but the first one was free. Yeah, but it was a tech demo. They right. showed off like the. So you think this it is was like be... learning about the PS5, the cooling system, right. the, All that stuff. I'm thinking that's what this is going to be again, but I don't know. Nah, I feel like. It would be really cool if Astrobot goes through the annals of PlayStation history like the first oh, one. That's a great idea. That's what they did in the first one. I I, I don't oh, know if they're going to okay. redo that. Yeah. Hopefully or, they do cuz that was the uh, a really good charm of it. You want to hear it? The good charm. You want to hear a crazy take? Yeah, what? This is how they announced PS6. Astrobot oh, really? and you're exploring the PS6. At the end, you're and like, this is how you figure it out. That'd be cool. And they're like, by the way, this release is like, November this, 25th or whatever. And this PS6 doesn't mm-hmm. have a kickstand. And yeah, it doesn't look and like it a, looks cooler. Uh, awkward UFO spaceship. Yeah. Anyways, number six. Did I say six twice? Who knows? Who cares? Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. Yeah, another Zelda game. This one doesn't look so good. Everybody is this the one that was shown at the Nintendo Direct? Yeah, recently? this one is the uh, the one where you what yeah. is it you you make con- tables conjure up tables? Yeah, you make table tables. table. I need to jump high. Dude, table. Nintendo can make anything. 
They can just really make anything they want. And yeah. I, I respect it. I honestly do respect it. That's the 26th of, the sem- of September, and that's a Nintendo Switch game. Who knows? Meh. Hey, somebody with a Switch, tell us how it's going to play. Yeah. Buy it. I'm sure play you will. You've you already like pre-ordered it. it like five times already. All right. Number seven, Silent Hill 2. I'm really anticipating mm-hmm. this game. A lot of people don't like This is a remake. Yep. A lot of people are kind of low on this game. I think it's going to be okay. Me too. Because Silent be Hill hasn't been relevant since I've been born. Yeah, well. Sorry. It's a remake, so. It is a remake. Which, to be fair, Ooh, to be absolutely hot. fair, I, uh, to me, Resident Evil wasn't res- necessarily yeah, relevant up until I was probably going into middle seven. school. Or after I'd gone into middle school. And then they released Seven. And then they did all the remakes, which were fantastic. Because yeah. I, I played all of them. They were great. Six was so. terrible. I didn't play six. I'm never gonna play six. But because yeah, that's know. what I've heard. It's not bad. But it's just I, it's the least scary. I'm so I'm happy for, with that. Yeah, I know. But that's the thing that everybody hates is yeah. it just turns into an action game. And the, no, it's like they hate it because it's there's like five or six perspectives of characters right. and they play as and different game mode like game you fly styles an airplane. and you kick boulders. But that's five, I think. That's awesome though. All right, but what? Go ahead. Can I? I'm gonna skip yeah. four and go to seven. Can okay. I do that? Skip four and go to seven. Seven is Silent Hill two. No, Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. I'm cool with that. You don't want to play Resident Evil 4? No, I played 4. I played 2, 3, 4. Okay. I played some of 1. No, do play 5. 5 is great. It's just, you know, they're going to remake It's not it? as scary, but it's cool. It's a great co-op game. Great co-op That's game. also what I've heard. That's, yeah. And that's a good selling point. Um, it, it's, it's a way better experience with a friend. Right. And I think you could play split screen on the newer... Additions. It's odd that they went Resident Evil. I'm sorry, we're going off on a, a weird tangent. Keep going. We got um, it's halfway. A, it's odd that they went off in that direction. Resident Evil. That they decided at some point, this game, like Resident Evil 2, a very creepy game where you play by yourself and you feel very lonely and you're being chased by this big guy in a cool jacket that looks like uh, he was in a fire. Yeah. And then 5, you get to 5 and you're like, you're going to play this co-op. And it's not really that scary at all. Why'd you go from two to five? Because three, it's kind of leading to that point. Oh, okay. All right. Two, yeah. three, four. You're yeah. kind of getting there. Yeah. You know, because Resident Evil, I would say Resident Evil 4, of the ones that I've played, has been the least scary. Yeah, I guess so. So, it, yeah. it, like the progress that they get to from two, three, yeah, four, yeah, five, right. seven to six is, is even more interesting. Yes. Yeah, seven is scary, though. That's a first Yeah, that's where they like kind of rebooted it, yep. essentially. So yep. They did a good job, too. Yeah. Uh, but Silent Hill 2 is a better game than all of them, so just saying. I have no idea, so I'll take your word for it. It's a great game. All right. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, 25th of October. This is number eight. This This is is a big big one. Big one. Game Pass game. Old Jimbo will be giving you a comprehensive review of everything in that game. I hope the campaign is a lot better than the last one. Yeah, Cold War, or Mono for 3. 3. Excuse me. Yeah, we don't talk about that. That campaign was the worst by far Call of Duty campaign ever. I also... Not including, like, the Nintendo DS games and stuff. I give them... Kind of a a little bit of a benefit of the doubt, to be honest with you, because they were moving to the two-year cycle, and they were the last ones, and so they were already starting to transition into the cycle, yeah. and they were like, you're kind of a half game at this point. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of give them the benefit there, of the there's doubt. There's been cycles before, so... I will say... It's up to them. I do need Black Ops to come out with a better campaign than the last Black Ops campaign because Cold okay. War was also kind of garbage. I'm sorry. I like you, Black Ops. I like I like Treyarch. Cold War is not very good. All right. Number nine, speaking of Silent Hill 2, the original creator of Silent Hill 2 is making this, this new game, mm-hmm. Slitterhead. That's a cool name. I like that name. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. That's a great name. Uh, it comes out the 8th of November. It's got a lot of hype on it. Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff looks wonky, but... I, Okay. I don't know. It looks okay. Good like, description. It looks wonky. <laughs> it does look wonky. Are they doing? Is he doing the the um? There's a lot the of camera like, styles. What? Of, is he doing the camera style of old like Silent Hill? It Hill looks 2? like it. Yeah. Original Silent Hill two. And also the melee as well. Okay. There was always kind of awkward hard melee to time uh, monster hit. See, I don't know if you'll ever I sell like me on that because it's like. It's cool. It makes it scarier for sure. Well, I mean that's understandable. The enemy design looks great. Yeah. It's just um. The pacing, I don't know about it. You but can't be, I, I haven't played it yet, so you can't be a game called Slitterhead and have bad characters. Yeah, I know. It's, it's cool. cool. Have you ever seen the movie Slither? Yeah, of course. It's a great movie. Yeah. Underrated, honestly. Yeah. Directed by James Gunn. Really? Now you know. Yeah. How about that? Well, that guy's not um, 
Never mind. Guardians keep, of the Galaxy. Keep it to myself. Suicide Squad. All right. Um, number ten. Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'll be there. There's been a lot of public outcry for Shadows. I'm not going to yeah. get into it. Oh, we can if you want. We no, don't. because okay. we have to bring up the statement. I and, agree. and I don't have the statement ready, yeah, but you know. whatever. Um, but I'm going to play. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play the heck out of this game. This is probably my most anticipated game of the year so far. Yeah, I just Ubisoft is just not hitting me. It's not hitting. It's not hitting. I'm hoping that a lot of the resources they were going to use for Outlaws, if they didn't put them in this game, they just went into <laughs> yeah, Shadows. Maybe. Which um, probably I not, do. But. I do like me some feudal Japan yeah. melee. This is the Assassin's Creed game they've been asking for since yeah. two. Yeah, whatever. So I'll play it. Uh, it's going to be my most up. The fifteenth of November, by the way. That's oh. cutting it real close. That's to perfect. Because Thanksgiving, Call of Duty. Yeah, but also Thanksgiving. Yeah. So okay. you're, you know, it's perfect. Right. Um, can I can I bang out these TBAs? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So the next ones don't have dates, but they're they were scheduled to come out this year. Who knows that they do? There's uh, one on there that I think no shot. But go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna just name them off. Go ahead. Skate. No shot. Kingdom Come Deliverance that Two. Hopefully, is a shot. Yeah, I, don't, I, think, I don't so. think that's a shot. No, you don't think so? No. Okay. Um, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I think they have to release that. This that year. might be a December game. Yeah, I think they have to. And then the one I'm the most anticipated of all these would be Avowed. Okay. Doesn't have a date. Yeah. That's a Bethesda Microsoft now game. Yeah. Game Pass game. We'll see. Kind of being quiet on the Avowed. That's front. true. Yeah. They haven't talked about that game in a while. So uh, they did show it off at the Game Fest stuff. Yeah. But we've seen a lot of it. It's just there, I, what I want to know is like, is this game is coming, coming out this year? Uh, we're avowing to get that. Is that the right way to? Yeah. No, it's not. I didn't say it right. Um, skate, no shot. That game comes out this year. Yeah, I absolutely no shot. Nothing. They haven't it. shown anything with that game. Well, There's they, no shot. No, take that back. They showed some rend or not like under rendered gameplay. Okay, next to nothing. <laughs> not pre-rendered. They've shown next to nothing about that. But game. they showed that it's. They've talked a about game. it forever. Yeah, I mean, they've talked about it since I think pre-COVID or mm-hmm. right after 2020. But that's all we've heard about it. And then, what was the other one? Sorry. Kingdom Come. Uh, Kingdom Come. I think it would come out this year, but. It's a, it's a hard, even if it was it's ready. It's July, so. Even if it's ready, that's a hard window to pop out yeah. on and stand out. Yeah. I know I'm going to buy it. That's a great game. I just, I would say that's my most anticipated game, but I have, I don't think it's coming out this year. Okay. I don't think it's. It does feel like more of a spring game. Yeah, definitely. Which. Understandable. Um, I do think Indiana Jones has to come out this year because yep. Doom's coming out next year. Yep. I think they're going to do Indiana Jones also. I think in Indiana December. Jones would be a good December game because yeah, perfect. There's a snow level. It's perfect. Yeah, you're right. Because you're in the submarine and there's Ooh. banter. Are you hot, James? Hoo-hoo. Yeah. Choo choo choo. <laughs> um, that was a great trailer. Uh, it I'm was. Hot. Yeah. Hey, I'm you were you were not high on that trailer. I uh, no, I, I wasn't high on the trailer up until that point. Okay, because right. the it was a lot of it like a lot of the same stuff, and then they showed that. I think that was actually gameplay. Like that was a cutscene that they were putting yeah, in the game. Yeah, he was like about to be executed. Yeah, and then they showed that, and I was like, okay, I'm in. They got it. They nailed it for me. Perfect. All right. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that game. I just I, it, I, I'm a little worried about it sometimes. Yeah, I think that's. I think you were not alone in that. I yeah. think there are definitely things to be worried about. They haven't shown a lot of the combat or anything like that, which. I don't want uh, just a sneaking around Indiana Jones game. Well. So. Anyways. Let's move on. Notable games releasing this week. Not a lot. Not a lot. It's kind of dead. It's July. We're going to die in here. Yeah. Because Woo. we are. I'm, July I'm not here. kidding you. I feel like a dog in a car right now. I am sweating out of my mind. Uh, but it's great. We're it's here. 106 outside? 105? No. What? Is it 100? No way. I think it's 100 is plus. It? Yeah. With smoke. We might actually and die in here. I feel like outside is cooler. Cooler. Yeah. All right. Um, notable games. Thrasher. Another cool name. Not a skateboarding game. Thrasher. Yeah, the great PS1 game. Thrasher, right. Skate, and also Destroy. Also a company. Skateboarding and company. Magazine, yeah. Um, what is it? It is the ma- from the makers of Thumper. Did you ever play Thumper? That's the rhythm game, right? Yep. I never played exactly. it. I saw it. It looks cool. Very, Very cool. cool. Didn't they make Surreal. that? Surreal. It was in VR, yeah. Okay, I was about to ask that. It was a PSVR1 ex- uh, mm. exclusive for a little bit. Okay. Then it came out to iPhone or phones, which I have okay. it on my phone. I that's, play it all the time. That's a good idea. It's really fun. That's where rhythm it's games... A, it's a good game to swipe with your thumb. Right. That's where rhythm games should honestly dominate in, in like mobile because it's the perfect spot it, for it. If it's a game where I'm using more than just one thumb, right. 
and it's if it's horizontal, I'm not going to play it unless really? I have a controller. That's where you bail out, huh? Yeah, unless it's a controller attached to it. Interesting. I need okay. I need to hold it with one hand and one thumb. It. I don't know if you can see this, but whatever. And that's fair. Thumper is great on that. Hopefully, Thrasher, which is also rhythm based, uh, very surreal. It's hard to explain this game. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain Thumper. How would you explain that? It is hard that? to explain Thumper. You're, You're on a rail. Yeah. There's you kind look. Of, it's, it's a horror game. Horror game. Oh, it's uh, definitely there are, yeah, weird, okay. scary yeah, things in it. Yeah. Scary the, imagery, yeah. And the sound is deafening, and, uh, and they call it thumper for a reason. It's thumping. You look like, or you, whatever it is that you're playing as, you look like a uh, Tour de France bicyclist helmet. You're actually a beetle, though. But you look like a Tour de yeah, France the helmet. the top of it. Yeah. And like your health are your um, shells. Like, your, if you were, if this was a ladybug, mm -hmm. you're, you know, you have two shells that cover your wings. When you yeah. hit the walls or whatever, one shell will fall off, another shell will fall off. Then you, if you're just wings, you can see the wings in the back. It's, that was a great analogy. Yeah, I'm not. Have sure you ever pulled really the wings off a ladybug? No, you sicko. I've, I've never, never done that. Done that. Shout out to my brother who used to rub ladybugs. Yeah, Virgil, I'm looking at you. So he used to take my brother used to take tree frogs. You know those little guys? Yeah, innocent. He's a little kid, so it's different. He used to just rub their heads on the cement until they bled, and then let them go. And you would see him throughout the summer. You would see a big purple scar over some of them that got bigger. But like, hey, that that was one of Virgil's torture subjects. And Virgil went on to kill his whole family. No, which no. Which is unfortunate. He also got a PS5, by the oh, way. Oh, shout out Virgil. In prison. What <laughs> no. a grab. Um, and I'm excited to play Verdun with him, which is an old PS4 game. <laughs> Virgil Dunn. <laughs> Anyways. Because he's got life in prison. Um, the next game, Silvio. Black waters. Yep. This is an atmospheric it's not horror a pirate game. game. Looks really cool. Should be a pirate game. Looks like a walking simulator. Okay. But atmosphere is it horror? Atmosphere a great horror? trailer and a great cover. Okay. Cover art. Right. That's what got me to look at it. But nobody buys covers anymore. Oh, you're right. But you see right. it on like you yeah, know, digital true. storefronts. The just Doom, the same. The one that I was thinking of is Doom. Where he's like beating up the demon. Yeah, that's go, great. Great one. Um, I have that big poster. You're talking about the original Doom yes. in red? No, yeah. no, no, no. The one that 2018, 2016. 2016. So the 2016 yeah, yeah. is kind of just a reimagining right. of that cover. It's yeah, almost yeah. the same. It's all red. It's just all pressed, essentially. And, yeah. essentially. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's it. Notable games releasing this week. Blank. Notable games that are coming out this week. Hey, Silvio. I think that's a pirate great. game. Should have been a pirate game. Nah, it's Silvio cool. Great trailer. Black Waters sounds like you're a pirate named Silvio and you're pirating in unforsaken waters. You're on a planet that's doing weird things like mimicking other parts of Earth. Okay, I like confused. that. You, you play a character who's confused. I like that. You yeah. what you just described sounded cool. Yeah, the, so Blackwater, there's a lake, and she you explore the lake, mm -hmm. and in the lake are something mysterious. Mysterious entities that are mimicking things like trees. This sounds like the one section in. Yeah, I, I hate. I know you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The game that recently just came yeah. out, and I can't think it's of it called. Don't know. Senua's Sacrifice, Hellblade, Hellblade, Hell, Hell, Hellblade. That's right. Hellblade you talking about Hellblade too? No, I thought you were talking about the PlayStation exclusive shooter, third person shooter made by Housemark. Alan Wake. Whatever. Just move on. But send you a sacrifice when you go into the lake and you have to drain it and there's oh, some people yeah. down there. That's what yeah. I was thinking of. It's nothing like that. That's yeah. that's the worst part of that game. Yeah, we don't Let's talk about Let's not talk it. about that anymore. We don't want to talk about Hellblade 2. But I hope they make something new. Me too. Uh, Me, okay. too. Me too. Please don't fire them, Microsoft. Those My guys are talented. Yeah, that's true. And Whoa. we don't always need giant blockbusters. We can have some art house lower budget. Maybe in the next game, keep the budget a little lower. You the know movie, what I'm You know what? You're right because the movie industry is doing that right now. Look yeah. at Long Legs. That's a great... Art house, I think they it was like yeah. an eight million dollar budget or something like that. Which yeah. grand scheme of things, that's for games that'd be a lot, but still. Also, Oddity, crazy the other horror game, Oddity by um that horror house, not mm -hmm. A twenty four, another one underneath it. Blumhouse. Nah, no, nah. there's a subscription service. Neon, whatever it's called. Shutter. Oh, I know. Shutter. I know. Shutter. Shutter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and that movie is apparently really good too. It kind of so, just goes to show games industries you don't need. Right. For God's sake. You don't need Rockstar money to make a good no. game. Or movie. Yeah. Thank you. Also, go ahead. I James. think something that's been proven through long legs and a lot of other stuff. Know how to market your movie. 
Very important. If you could do it very well, you can attract just about anybody to come to your movie theater. Yeah. Well, or a game. Horror fans are, even in the game industry, yeah. we're going to get a horror fest here pretty soon in August, I think, at the end of August. Oh, or, like a, that's an, okay, a con? It, yeah, it's okay. it's movies and games. Yeah, right, gotcha. everything. Okay, so let's move on to what we've been playing. What have you been playing, James? So, I'm playing this game called EA Sports College Football mainly, but <laughs> other than that, uh, I started Nobody Wants to Die. It's this neo-noir uh, detective thriller. It's not very long, apparently about four to six hours, depending on how good you are um, and how fast you want to blow through it or how slow you want to go. Uh, it's really pretty, and I gave my first impressions and uh, we pre-recorded that. I'm sorry. We pre-recorded that. And uh, here it is. It's another rainy night. Not that there's a day, given the sun gave out years ago. The neon signs light up an otherwise dark and soulless Times Square. The world has advanced. In the year 2329, we have flying cars that dip in between the endless rows of concrete buildings like rats in a maze of their own creation. We've also solved mortality, being able to swap our older bodies for younger ones, like their costumes whenever we grow too old to be useful. It's also mandatory. But with our newfound immortality, we've also lost our perspective on time. I'm officially 120 years old, but you couldn't tell by looking at me. Immortality also leads to overpopulation. All of us crowded into the city like canned sardines, but some lucky few still live like gods on Olympus. On this night, I'm at the theater, a drive-in showing flicks of earlier, better days. I'm off duty tonight. I've worked enough overtime as a detective in this town to pay off my next body swap. I deserve this evening. I look to my right and see my wife, Rachel, the only person who seemingly understands my cynical nature for a world like this. Rachel reminds me of the old actress Rachel McAdams. In fact, she looks almost exactly like Rachel McAdams. How did we get the rights to Rachel McAdams? Does she know? It doesn't matter. It's not real anyways. I grab the ambrosia pill bottle that relieves me of these hallucinations of a previous time and down some with a little synthetic scotch from my flask. It's taking more and more to bring me back to this drab reality. We may have immortality in flying cars, but I've just been contacted to go pick up a parcel of mail at a drop box. Some areas have advanced much further than others. Out of everything, somehow the Postal Service miraculously outlived everything else in the 2300s. The package it contains shows my next assignment, and apparently it's off the books. Edward Green has died, one of the founders of Immortality, and the Chief wants us to retrieve his Icarite, a physical embodiment of our minds and consciousness, and arguably no one's is more important than Green's. I get to Green's apartment, a penthouse towering above the thralls of people below, like the Jedi Temple on Coruscant in Star Wars. That doesn't make sense in this universe, but I needed a simile. The sight in his foyer is one to behold, the last cherry tree on the planet being burnt to a crisp, with Green's lifeless body hanging from one of the branches. Could have been done by his own hand, but something smells off here. I snoop around the luxurious penthouse and amongst the classic paintings and books from Marcus Aurelius, I find a top secret file on Green's desk with a list of names with a note inside talking about political ties and no ability to appeal, signed by the chief himself. No wonder this one is off the books. I leave the file and start a reconstruction of the scene using the reconstructor attached to my hand that allows me to go back in time and relive moments in time. I also have an x-ray device that looks a lot like an old handheld mirror. Using these, I relive Green's final moments, and something becomes very apparent. This is not a one-man operation. Green wasn't swinging on that branch by his neck like a butchered pig by choice. Someone forced him, and someone who was skilled to avoid being detected when reconstructed. Just as the scene is being pieced together, the chief comes on over the radio and tells me to drop it and leave the investigation up to the feds, and that they're on their way to the penthouse now. I fight with the chief, but it's no use. He'll know what we found, and there's no point fighting the feds. I reset the reconstruction to what it looked like before I walked into this mess and headed home. At home, I'm greeted by the yells you typically hear from within a walled, thin apartment block. Money problems and adultery are the stem of most of the arguments. 
My quarters are nice, but not exactly well kept. Old dishes and dust forming as the constant connection throughout the two-story loft. There are pictures and memorabilia of a previous time in my life, but it's more of a haunting reminder than a gleeful memory to relive. I walk to the window and stare out a beautiful, sun-kissed island with coconut trees and overgrowth and a beach you feel like you could fall asleep on and never reawaken. But again, it's all an illusionary distraction from the dark and drab cityscape beyond the image where not a lick of green can be found by even the insects that outnumber the people here 200 to 1. I shut off the image and open the window outside to the fire escape they sell to possible tenants as a balcony and walk to one of the many neon signs that line the building and the countless others next to it. Taking, inside, taking a seat inside the O of the red neon sign, I light a smoke and I think to myself about what has transpired so far. I have a partner in this case named Sarah that doesn't seem to have any idea of the stuff us detectives have done in the field before, even though she's looking for a fat promotion. I find myself saying things throughout the case so far that sound like a completely different person, almost like there are two different people talking, but both are me, and it becomes almost jarring to hear. People will probably say this just feels like a tech demo for something called Unreal Engine 5, whatever that is, but I say it's the story and environment that will suck you in as it has me. I have a mystery to solve involving one of the elite members of this cramped society that goes all the way to the top, and I'll be damned if I let this one slip through the cracks, even if it does mean the end of my career or life. Besides, I can always get another. Wow, what a what beautiful a, recording. What an art house, low budget Speaking film. Of, exactly, <laughs> art house, low budget. Um, some things if you didn't catch on, because I don't know if I wrote them very well. Right. Um, so far, I'm not done with the game yet. Um, I'm only about two hours in, an hour and a half in, <laughs> really? something like that. Um, that was more of a review in progress. Um, there are some things that are kind of annoying that I picked up on in the trailer and I was worried about where there are characters talking to you, um, the person, if that makes sense, playing the game, not necessarily in in the world if that makes sense and then there are some weird uh like audio dubs that sounds very much like they recorded something they were like this isn't good enough we need to record this again and then they re-recorded at a much different time mm. then you could tell the difference in the character's voices it's oh, okay. very odd really? yes that um, happens sometimes in games so actually. those are kind of the only things that i've noticed so far there are people that are going to be kind of upset with it that i think it's maybe more on rails than they would have liked yeah and, you know, that's okay. I understand that. There are some pretty cool detective sequences that I have liked so far. Um, and there's interaction with a lot of stuff. I think it's gorgeous. It's a very pretty game. It's I'm, Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, it's mentioned. Unreal Engine 5, yeah. It's a very, very pretty game. And honestly, by the time I'm done with it, I'm expecting me to be like, just give me more in this place, in this environment. It's very Fallout, Bioshock combination-esque. It's well, awesome. It's really cool, cool so far. So I'll give you more... I'll give you a full score. Not really. Um, but next week I'll be done with it. No. Full score. I don't, I don't like scores. Yeah, I mean, reviews. either. They change all the time for me. I always, I'm a fan of a, um, I recommend it or don't recommend Perfect. it. Perfect. And a, you choose, you do it yourself. Like with the Concord, I don't know if I would recommend this mm -hmm. game. Like I said, if you like Overwatch or if you're a player of Overwatch, you probably don't want to play it. But if you've never played Overwatch, I highly recommend Concord. Right. So it's kind of weird. I recommend. Um, nobody wants to die so far. We'll see. Yeah. I, I want to play it too. It's cool. I also you'll the, like it. You'll the walking really simulator like it. style stuff, linear stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I like. I like it too. I like that I, stuff. If it's told well, I like it. Yeah. If it's a boring walking. If a story that's the worst is what version. is what drives the gameplay and right. drives you to continue to play, and, and that's what I'm it good. feels like. So okay. you, uh, you would really like this game because you're a big yeah I'm noir, a big noir guy. guy. Yeah, you would really like this game. Yeah, I have uh, a lot of. Uh, Chandler books. I think I have mm. all of them. Raymond Chandler. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was. Uh. Uh. I've also been playing a sports college football. That's basically it, though. Yeah. Maltese Falcon is like one of my favorite movies. Ever. Maltese Falcon. Yeah. yeah. All right. Go ahead. I'm playing games. Yes. So you I had are. I had friends come over to our house over the weekend over the last week, and I didn't get to play a lot of games downstairs, mm -hmm. which is my PS5 slash Xbox Series. Mm -hmm. So I got to play my PS2 a lot. Oh, Retro Week. So I played Ace Combat 4. We talked about Ace Combat. Yeah, we did. And um, I played Ace Combat 4. I love this game. Oh, it's so good. I thought you were going to do the Gran Turismo thing where you just went. I did Ace play Combat a lot of Gran Turismo all the way too. through 7 or whatever. We're I, on. I played Gran Turismo 4 a lot, but I don't need to talk about that. No. 
And um, I, I love I love Ace Combat. I can't wait for the next Ace Combat game. And I know they come out pretty. They're pretty separated. Staggered. With time. Yeah. Hopefully, I can play it soon. Uh, the new one. But Ace Combat Four is really good. Probably the best story out of all of them. Okay. That and Seven. I really like Seven. Which I gotta is the play latest. Seven. I we've talked about this already, yeah. but I really need to play one of these. I games. love that. I love the I love the story driven sim arcade air fighter games. Air fighter games. <laughs> Like you don't get that ever. I can't believe there's a We're, section for that. So it's like these guys. I think it's Namco. I don't. I don't know who makes uh, that. That sounds right, Bandai Namco. Um, yeah. They, they, they really want to tell a story, and they're like, "How do mm -hmm. we tell the story? What vehicle can we use to tell the story?" We're like, "How about a sim flying yeah. arcade game?" And they saw Top Gun, and they're like, "This is awesome." <laughs> like, okay. So there's a lot of exposition constantly right. throughout these games, but I like it a lot. Okay. You can skip through it too. You don't. I'm not going to do that though. It's a story. Uh, the next one I've been playing is um, Project Snowblind on PS2 and slash original Xbox. Mm -hmm. Made by Crystal Dynamics. I don't know if you ever heard of this game. I it's think a, I've heard it's, of it. It's a first-person shooter in the vein of Deus Ex. Is it, ba is it backwards compatible? No. no. Okay. I don't. In the vein of Deus Ex, like those Deus Ex games, but way more shooter heavy. Okay. So it's made by the guys who make Tomb Raider. Um, and I just pretty, uh, published by Eidos who did... Day Sex. Right. I, I think it might have some sort of uh, tie with it story-wise, but it's really good. I miss these old shooters. Mm -hmm. I miss them. Talk about linear shooters. There's yeah, no, true. It, it's, there are missions within the levels, and you can do them however you want. Okay. But once you get like three out of the six missions, it unlocks the next part of the level, and you just move on. There are um, uh, checkpoints, old-school mm -hmm. checkpoints where it... Oh, wow. So you got to get like past the typewriters the or whatever. No, 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 not like oh, that. Okay. Okay. More like, um, you got to do a lot of work before you get that save. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. So like um, medal of honor. <laughs> is yeah. What I think of, yeah. Okay. But even more so. Like, yeah. And some of it's really hard. There's some really good abilities. It's a sci-fi noir, not noir, I'm sorry. Sci-fi cyberpunk. Okay. Game. Very cyberpunk. It's cool. I like um, it a lot. A game that came out in early two thousands on a PS2, mm -hmm. uh, for the control wise and shooting wise and the feedback you get from shooting and killing people. I mean, unaliving people. Sorry. It'll work. Would uh, you add it to the bad name list? Project Snowblind? No way. Nah, that's a bad name. It doesn't tell me anything. That could be a snowboarding game. Well, what it tells you, there's a great book in the late 90s, early 90s. I don't know when, mm -hmm. but called Snow... Oh, man. Stormbreaker. It's called Snow Screen. Oh, I forgot. But it's a great cyberpunk, early cyberpunk okay. novel. Oh, so it's inspired by that then? D definitely. Okay, okay. But still, I mean, what if I'm a call? kid, if I'm a kid walking into the store, see Project Snowblind, I'm like, this is probably a snowboarding game. Nah. This sounds awesome. Snowblind meaning like there are, um, you can get hacked and so you get a lot of um, like snow blind. You know, like the TV. White noise? White noise. Okay. Thank you. Gotcha. All right. Makes that make sense. Now, and then I also s pulled out my racing simulator yesterday. Mm -hmm. Played a lot of EA WRC, which game, that game came out very buggy and crappy. It's been almost a year. Um, playing it maybe less than a year, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I've lost all track of time and feeling in my head right now. Um, I look like I've been in the shower. I, I like this game. People mm -hmm. hated this game. This game's great. Yeah, I remember that being pretty well, or pretty badly bombed I heard when that it first came out. There was a lot of graphical problems. Like yeah. Hitching and frame rate issues. Didn't experience that at all. I thought the force feedback with my wheel mm -hmm. was expertly done. Expertly. That's good. So I'm happy with that. I'm playing that a lot. Um, wanted to keep that going. So I played Snow Runner with my wheel. Uh, What's different between that and Snowblind? <laughs> Snow Runner is a s trucking sim. Yeah, but if you are on... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Getting out oh, of mud. Oh right, yeah. You, we talked about it's this a mud game. runner. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I was thinking of you were on a what are the this not an ATV but the snow one snowmobile. Yeah, snowmobile. Wow. And you know what happens when you're riding on a snowmobile? And you hit a bank. You go snow blind. <laughs> okay. Project Snow Blind. <laughs> Wonderful, James. And then um, played Assetto Corsa, the original Assetto Corsa. Oh yeah. I have competizione, whatever you want to call it. French name. Yeah. I think it's Italian. Italian. Sorry. Yeah. Whatever. Is there a difference? Yeah, I'm American. I mean, countries. Uh, <laughs> That's a difference. <laughs> Just joking. 
This game is great. I love Assetto Corsa. I think Assetto Corsa has the most fun physics in a racing sim ever. It's pretty well renowned as a sim for all consoles. Other than like iRacing, I think this is kind of like the yes. next in line. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think all, all of them <laughs> offer different things. As, right. Assetto Corsa, you feel the weight of your car a lot more than any other game. Mm-hmm. So when you're braking late and you yeah. slide in and you're still turning, you're not going to, you're not going to have, if you're a rear engine car, right. Mm-hmm. And you brake late and try to turn before you hit the dirt, your back end isn't going to spin out like right. it would in a Gran Turismo. You're going to go forward for a little bit before your tires kind of catch up to the momentum. And you really feel that in a set of Corsa. I don't think I feel that anywhere else in any mm-hmm. other game. So I like it a Did lot. Did you ever buy a rear engine vehicle? Yeah. I have Okay. I have a Dodge um Charger. Charger, sorry. Most those are usually rear engine uh, rear wheel front engine cars. Oh uh, okay. I thought you were talking well, rear re- engine sorry. only. Yes. But also rear, rear wheel. engine like a Porsche is a rear engine rear wheel gotcha. drive. Okay, okay, okay. A charger is a rear wheel front engine so fr okay. um it works both ways that you're still going to go forward right, if you're right. a front wheel drive car you can brake and turn a lot easier like yeah. your honda yeah especially yeah. well it's mainly for snow for me because it's like yeah it's my charger is an all-wheel drive i live in sheridan oh Wyoming. all right dude we get it all right you got that money well, no it's not that expensive <laughs> Jeez, it's a 2014 man all yeah, right but it's all-wheel drive that's nice it's fun I'll tell you that much that's, That's nice. all I'm playing, James. Shout out Assetto Corsa. Shout out uh, Competizione. Yeah. Did I say it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I don't know. You nailed it. Um... I think that's going to wrap it up. Yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. Thanks for watching us uh, live decompose as our bodies are I'm emitting. melting. Yeah, I'm emitting. At this point, instead of sweat, it's just blood coming out of my pores. Yeah. Not really. I'm okay. Uh, but it is hot in here, so we're going to leave. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. I hope you liked that little uh, review section, and I hope yeah. you liked everything else that we do with the show. It took a long time to get that set up, so we greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to get um, in trouble because of it. Nah, you're right. Uh, please like, subscribe, rate, and follow. That's the best thing you can do for us. If you liked it, do all those things. Rate and follow on the podcast platforms. Like and subscribe on the YouTube page. We love you guys. We'll be back next week. We're going to talk about how important is pottery. Yeah. We'll see you next week. <laughs> see ya. In the twilight of my room, when neon dreams could fly, I tune into a world where pixels collide. With whispers of adventure in the cracks of my soul, active reload takes its toll. From the shadows of the spree, tales of damsels in distress. Buttons pressed to free them in their elegant finesse. Joystick heroes charging with hearts that never fall. Their quests finally tall through active reload. Where dreams are in control Guided by the voices That turn nights into gold Every pixel, every sprite Dances in the glow Of a world unseen but known Lurking in the dark With a map of broken hearts, each level is a riddle Where the brave display their parts Through the smoky atmosphere The story softly flow In this lounge of danger
Where dreams are in control